just filming. Uh, this is a hypothesis. It has nothing to do with UFOs, but maybe it's a gift from them. But uh, what I'm about to show you is evidence of the Great Flood. I've been in the Coast Guard and I know water erosion. And when I look at these pyramids, I'm going to about to show you is where the Great Flood happened. And just watch this. Board Egyptian mathematics. We haven't attempted to unravel yet. The so that's a. This I've is water so erosion pictures. all in here. I believe I'd be impressed by them. But meeting them face. And right there. Where he's standing, right here. Water was all the way up to right there. And that's water erosion right there. So that's where the Great Flood actually reached. And if you look at the uh, Giza Plateau, you'll see this pyramid is the highest one, and that's what's left of it. And that's water erosion right there. And look what the water did. As the water receded, it just tore up the pyramid. You can see, literally. <clears throat> and a British scientist, I forget his name, did study on the rocks and he found water uh, creatures, you know, crustaceans of clams and everything all embedded within the pyramids and it only w went in about six inches within the rock. So the rock was built before the flood, but that's how high it got. And now let me just fast forward. The face. Do you understand it? why they're called one of the seven wonders? Boom. So right there, let me just remove the title bar. All this is water eroded. Even the Great Sphinx, if you look at footage of that, you'll see uh, water erosion layers. And the reason why these rocks fit so tight is because when water uh, goes that high in the Great Flood, as the ocean was that high at that time, like that, it takes the path of least resistance, so it's going to go all in between the rocks, and it's... Uh, abrasive so it'll literally just smooth in the rocks into a perfect fit but as the great oceans receded that's what was left of the pyramids so that's how high the great flood got it, that's my hypothesis and I think it's a gift from them I don't know how many uh, UFOs I've caught in my life but sometimes they uh, give me thoughts but this is just a belief of mine and again, look at the Sphinx, and you'll see water erosion. But I've been in the Coast Guard, again, for 12 years, and I know water erosion, and nothing can strip away rock like that except water, because water is so abrasive. And that's how high I think the Great Flood reached. So the ancient world, so. they're simply breathtaking. And how much again, more impressive it must have been in their day. Again, that's all water erosion, but anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Over now.